Hello YouTube, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today we're gonna to be talking about TikTok and chest binders. But before we continue, if you like and subscribe after you see this video, that'd be cool. If you don't want to, that's fine too. Also, we are working for our donations. We are trying to now get a soundboard here um, to just help with the sound. I've been looking back on some of the videos and I just realized it doesn't sound as great as it could. Maybe it sounds great to you, but I am very, I critique everything. So. We are working towards a soundboard, so your donations are helpful. Thank you guys. You guys have helped me get to where I am now, so I appreciate you guys. All right, let's watch this video on chest binders of TikTok. It's a quick one, so it won't take too long. This chest binder is the yeah. best thing I've ever Nothing. bought. Nothing. It works with any Nothing. outfit. Good, but I just had this chest now, this is supposed to be a ad by Allure. Now, Obviously, TikTok itself is not the one promoting this is the ads on TikTok. But, you know, I don't <laughs> I don't think they're promoting other, the other stuff. But I know what you're asking yourself, maybe. Well, how can I know what you're asking yourself, maybe? I might know what you're asking yourself. And that may be, what's the problem with chest binders? People can wear chest binders. Is it that big a deal? Yes. Everyone, wanted your answer, yes. I'm not here to beat around no bush. What's going on here is the purpose of a chest binder. The purpose of the purpose of a chest binder is that it is trying to it is normally when people start wearing chest binders, it leads them toward down down a certain path. And we already know how that path ends. It normally ends with a dumb septum. And when that kind of stuff happens, then we got real problems. Because when you're telling a, a young girl that she needs to hide her chest, I can, uh, there are sports bras and stuff like that to keep them from, you know, doing the other stuff. They're in athletic ability. They're in athletic feats. We all understand that. But a chest binder is to hide it. To hide it for what reason? That is the question. Instead of having these conversations with the kids, we just say, go ahead and wear this chest binder. It'll make you feel better. It won't. It only starts to lead your mind into a certain situation. It's just like you. It's just like if we promoted tucking the kids when Target did that too long ago. When you start to teach kids at a very young age that they should wear these kind of clothes and hide their stuff, then they will eventually get to the point where they start to accept it in their mind. A lot of people you see end up having these double mastectomies wore chest binders to begin with. They did anything in their power to make sure they could have the chest. If they didn't wear chest binders, they wrapped up. This is not something you ever want to and remember, remember who the large majority of TikTok is. Okay. Shout out to Live the TikTok, by the way. I didn't realize that this was their video. Uh, what well, this isn't their video, but they found this video. I want to say this. The large majority of the people I've seen watch TikTok, and I'm sure you all got, we all know this. It tends to be children, right? Tends to be children. Because TikTok is quick nice quick videos you can tell by how they make the videos anytime they talk on the videos it seems very childlike right it's hey how's it going <laughs> you know something goofy like that it's just and listen i understand people are comedians and some people want to be entertaining but that tends to only entertain people who are younger and because of that i think it's dangerous for us to put these kind of ads in there because we know who is truly going to affect right we see what social media does to grown adults, including myself. I'm a man who's been working on not trying to scroll, but you know, it get, it catches me. I'm a grown man. So we know it's going to catch the children's attention. They're going to be way more susceptible to buying a chest binder. Because right there, that shows you right there. You can go right to the app and buy it yourself if you got money. Right? Take your mom's credit card. I don't know what you got to do. The kids do whatever they want. We saw not too long ago somebody on TikTok who, when they ordered stickers, the people were secretly putting chest binders in there. So that's how they promoted it to kids. Get the parents to ship them some stickers, and when they get it, bow, chest binder in there. Why? I watched something very interesting the other day, and it was talking about how they're slowly pushing this agenda every single day there was an entire group on reddit at one point you sure if you're not a reddit user you know there's for the darkest parts of the world and there's obviously darker worlds but there was this group on reddit that literally was doing their absolute best to push transition on the kids and grown men they're pushing this kind of stuff they're pushing cross-dressing they literally 
pushed it every single day, created an entire group. They paid people to push this agenda onto people. They were trying to create a huge group, large group. Eventually, they got found out. But trust me, when one dies, a thousand cockroaches come back up. So what I'm trying to say is that when y'all think it's just a small thing and it's something that's not that important and we should just look past it, it's deliberate. And that's what people think it's not deliberate. It's deliberate. The transition and the more people you see becoming part of the LGBT, the more young kids you see that's happening to, it's deliberate. They are literally doing this on purpose the best they can. They are giving their 100% effort to turn as many kids as they can into this. And then for the chest bounder, they're trying to get as many kids to have surgeries because the kids are the ones who are going to have to pay the most money. The kids are going to be the ones that you can control the easiest. And if we break it all the way down, we know what this becomes about. Control. What is the silliest, goofiest thing that they can put out there that we'll all believe? Ten years ago, we did not believe. Maybe, well, let's go 15 years ago. We weren't having a discussing of, can a man be a woman? But you don't think there's people out there who say, let's throw this idea into them and have these young, average people argue about this every single day of the week? Why do they do this? To see what we will believe and what we won't believe. There, there are people who are just pulling the strings to see how far can they take us to see what we will truly believe. 15 years ago, they didn't get away with it. But slowly, just like Inception, you plant an idea in somebody's head and let, let it grow on its own. It only took one person to be like, love is love. Bam, put that seed in your head. Live and let, live and let love live, right? Live free. Just time makes fools of us all. There was a great quote I heard not too long ago. It wasn't the torture. It wasn't the pain. It was the time. Time is what allows ideas to fester and grow. It just takes time. And that's why I say all the time we need to always push against this stuff because if we don't what is what is the what is the most famous what is one thing you've always heard growing up it's just a matter of time we say that so simply today but now i'm starting to, it's more powerful than you know it's just a matter of time all it takes is time for us to get where we are now let me know what you think about these chest binders is it a problem not a problem why why not Goodbye.